Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today we are gonna be making this 3D layered ornament. So you can see it's pretty thick. It's so cute, it's a whole scene. I absolutely love it. Um, before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the help that I can get uh, and your support, whether it's likes, comments, questions, and subscribing. <laughs> All right, so um, let's get started. This is a file from Creative Fabrica, which I love. And I know I talked about it in the design space tutorial, um, you know, to show you how to resize and, and uh, get the file working. But if you haven't had a chance and you just wanna try the membership, you should, because it's only a dollar. I have a trial membership for the first month where it's just one dollar. You can always cancel if you don't like it. But if you do like it, the code, uh, the Useless Crafter 30 gives you 30% off forever, for as long as you keep the membership. So um, you could be like me, I have the membership, I absolutely love it. I don't use it for the files, to be honest. I don't use it for the files as much as I use it for the fonts. Um, I love that it comes with commercial usage so that I don't have to worry about that. I can use all the fonts on anything that I you know, sell and it's totally good. Same thing with the files. All right, so let's get started. This is a 12 layered ornament and it's actually gonna be 13 layers and I'm gonna show you why. Cause I added this little ribbon, right? So you want a double layer of the back one. Now I did not do a double layer of the back one, but I did cut this twice. So I wanted to show you, I'm gonna use an extra white. It's part of the scene, but it's not gonna show. I'm gonna put it down like this, and I'm gonna put the ribbon here, and then I'm gonna put the last layer here. I'll talk about it again when we get there. So um, let's start with the first two layers. So the first layer is so thin, it's just this beautiful blue. It's layer number 12, so if you're following along, um, and you have the Creative Fabrica, you know, file up, it has all the pictures of the different layers and the order that it goes in. So I'm actually starting from 12 going down to one instead of one going up. Um, so this is really thin. I'm using Barely Art glue. I'm going to put the glue on the blue layer because it's so thin. I don't want to put it on the purple layer in case, it, well, you could put the purple up here. And this blue layer is so thin, it's gonna go flat on there. It's not gonna have the foam tape because I don't really wanna deal with um, sizing it down so that it looks good. <laughs> There's 12 layers. There's plenty of layers to, um, to stack, you know? So, all right, so here's our first layer. And there's just a little bit of excess glue. And I'm just gonna get it on my hands. I don't even know if you can see it. It dries so quickly, so it's not gonna get, and it dries clear, so it won't ruin your paper. And that's our first layer. Now our second layer has this big gap, uh, you know, big space right here. You can also personalize something here. Um, I would love to, you know, if you're gonna do HTV and put, you know, your family name or something, this is, the time to do the the iron on because once you start layering you're not going to get that flat even surface so here I would put the name I would do it right now and then continue on okay so because there's enough space right here I'm going to add my foam tape and I basically just did one you can do three if you wanted to I would space it out like this Okay, I'm gonna put this layer out. And this layer, I don't know if you can see right there, it didn't cut all that well right there. So I'm going to see if I can trim it a little bit. Okay. All right, so that's down. I'm going to do this. So we've got this here. Now, depending on what you're doing this for, I'm assuming with a 3D layered ornament, this is for you. If it's not for you and you're actually mailing it out, like mine, this is my Craftmas ornament exchange. So I'm mailing this to somebody. I actually put um, 
on one of the squares, I always put glue just to make sure that it's really gonna stick. I know, I'm just paranoid. <laughs> All right, so you wanna line this up. So you're already getting a scene, right? Look at the snow pops up a little bit. The trees are all, you know, different distances and stuff. It's just so stinking cute. All right, so this layer and this layer, same thing. I'm gonna add the foam tape. And it's just so stinking cute. I love these colors. And this I'm using just, you know, 80 pound cardstock paper. Nothing special, easy to cut. The only layer I had a problem with is the reindeer layer. And you can kind of see why it's so thin with the rain and then the antlers. So this is four inches. I would recommend doing maybe something just a little bit bigger. Um, but that was the only layer that I had an issue with. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put this down, gonna line this up. Hold up, I put it the wrong way, shoot. <laughs> That's what I get for um, not paying attention. Okay, hold on. Luckily, it's foam tape and we just put it down so it hasn't like stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. What happened to my scene? My scene disappeared because I put it on the wrong way. Did you guys catch that while I was doing it? <laughs> Okay, so here's the house. A little bit of pink is peeping through in this like snow layer. It's just a really, really cute file. All right, so here we go on this one. All right, so same thing. Oh, this one is so thin that we're just gonna put it down. So on this one, I'm going to just put glue on this outer layer, on the ring. I'm adjusting it a little bit. My glue is down. And you can see it's getting thicker. And you really get the layers. It's just so cute. All right, this one. This one has enough that we can put the foam tape. So here we go. So I'm going to do the three again down here. With anything adhesive, you really wanna put pressure down so that it anchors itself and it stays, um, you know, stuck. All right, here we go. Okay, you're getting a total scene, I just love it. Um, all right, next one. Oops, and I noticed this didn't pop out. So you can see, same thing with this one. We're just layering. So cute. 
Um, I wish I knew how to design these things. I would love to do one of these ornaments for like every vacation that I go to or something where you get the scene of, you know, the actual location. I would have loved this. Um, I mean, I guess it would, I mean, if you're going to do it as an ornament, I need to convince my husband to do a destination Christmas every year. <laughs> we are almost ready to head out to Pennsylvania. That's where my husband's from. And so we're going to have snow, hopefully. And that should be fun. Okay. So you can see it's getting thick, right? And this is why I, I didn't like the way the layered looked um, on the side, which is why I ended up grabbing the ribbon and doing this. So you can see this is what mine looks like. All right, so we're gonna continue. We're almost done. Just a few more layers. I love these layered projects. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a mandala of the Earth, I guess, um, of all the continents. So you can kind of see um, like all the blues and greens. It was really pretty. And it had, man, on that one, I think it went up to 20 layers. So it was gorgeous with all the beautiful blues and greens. And then you had a little bit of brown in, the, in, in some parts, but it was mainly blue and green and it was just beautiful. Okay, so we're getting towards the back, and so um, you can see it's starting to be just this. So again, still here, we're going, we're almost there. And if you, gosh, I don't know, one day when I have more time, this would be so pretty if you did them as gift tags, like on a present. So everyone would want to keep it, right? It'd be the gift like to the Stormers. I would love that. Because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. If I wasn't a crafter, you wouldn't see this anywhere, right? So see, it's so pretty. All right, so this layer, um, this layer we could still, it's still thick enough. We could do that. Okay, so this would be your last layer. What should go on here is the white in the back and it would close it up. It would be this. But I, I cut a third copy of this. And so I'm gonna use this. Um, hopefully I can. Let's see if it would get in the way at all. It doesn't. So I'm gonna put this down so that we can put the ribbon in between and then this is gonna be my final layer. For those of you at home, I would just cut a duplicate of this. And so you would have two circles here, okay? So let's put this layer down. This layer, I'm just gonna put glue on the purple in a couple places, just enough to get it down. We're gonna be using the glue gun, so it'll be fine. So see, I'm gonna do that, okay? I have my glue gun going, my hot glue gun. So I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna close up this glue for now. We're gonna use this glue for the ribbon in just a bit. Okay, so this ribbon I'm gonna cut. And so you're gonna cut just a strip like this, okay? And then you're going to kind of like all the cancer awareness ribbons, you're gonna do this. And we're gonna glue it down here, down at the front so that it sticks like this, okay? So, put a little bit of glue down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, 
put this down and quickly flip it over so that you can adjust it to make sure, oh, see, it's not in the middle. So just put down one side and then you can put down the other side to make sure it's in the middle. So you could do something like this. And now you can put down a lot of glue. And you can put a lot of glue because we're gonna put this piece on and it's gonna cover that, so. And then just get your glue strings out. So you could keep it like this, and it'll just hang like this. Or you can add the extra layer of ribbon around here. So the way I would do that is I would measure and cut off the excess so that you're not holding onto a lot of ribbon. And this ribbon's kind of messed up right here. I would just take my mini right now. I don't have it out, but I would iron it right here. Or, I mean, ribbon is so pliable, look at that. Just with my fingers, my fingernails, okay? So I would start from the top and know that our bottom is where the edges, the ends are gonna be, okay? So knowing that, I'm gonna use glue from Barely Art on the ribbon, okay? And I'm gonna turn off my glue gun now. And this part takes a little while because it doesn't have a lot of surface area to glue itself onto because these are such thin layers, but I would put it on like that and then just put a little bit of glue down all the way through so that you have this layer. And then you're just going to glue it all the way around, hold it until it dries, and then you'll have this on the side, this on the front, this in the back, and you've got your ribbon hook. And that's all there is to it. All right, I hope you make this. Please tag me if you do. I would love to see your color scheme and um, let me know what else you wanna see. So now I'm taking requests for, um, I guess there's still time to take requests for Valentine's Day projects. So if you wanna see something, let me know. And um, all right, I'll see you guys around on the next video. Thank you so much, bye.